Well, welcome back, everybody, to Byzantium here in 1.36, King of Kings for Europa Universalis 4. I was looking around. Russia not doing too good, but uh, I don't care. I don't want them to call me in, so I want to get involved in another war. And I was looking. Castile is currently getting dumpstered in the War of the Protestant League. And if I were to attack them, England would not help them. Portugal, however, would. But I'm not really too fussed about that. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to war with these guys with a cleansing of the heresy. And uh, the numbers are not as bad as you might think because Portugal's probably got a large army, but most of them are more than likely overseas. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to rush this over here and we are going to try to uh, occupy everything down in here. Uh, I will separate piece Portugal to annul their alliances with anybody useful, probably just like England and Castile. Ethiopia, huh? <laughs> okay. And uh, we should be fine to get them sorted out. Oh, now I do need to make sure that I am uh, going to upgrade my ships here. Because if we are going to be going to war with uh, Portugal, we're going to need a navy. And um, we do have a decent navy, but uh, I imagine that their navy is going to be quite uh, quite competitive with ours. So what do you guys say we do? A bit of a building and uh, get everything over here ready to roll. Uh, more heavies is fine. We can certainly afford them. Uh, so nice little bit of text overlap there. Thank you, UI mod. Very cool. <laughs> so let's see here. Taking a look at our trade companies as well. So like this stuff here, we can core up. This stuff here can be trade companied. And this one here, we ha finally have a province over here in uh, Persia, which is pretty cool. So this land, these guys here can be uh, suppressed. Steel's already on medium enthusiasm, which is very funny. Obviously, we're going to have to suppress these rebels. Not an issue. Let's have these guys marching, one by one, of course, and uh, have these guys come up here, barrage, and then siege down Ceuta as quickly as possible. We're also going to need an admiral on our fleet, so we're waiting until we have enough manas. A one, two, you are literally terrible. <laughs> Bohemia, the evangelical union is victorious. Very good. Now, hopefully England will not be called in. That would be unfortunate. These guys will come over here and start sieging down the lands in at North Africa. And uh, as long as we can occupy this, we shouldn't, we should be able to keep them from crossing over. We've got uh, one more month. Very good. We'll come over and blockade. Now we do have our galleys. We do need to make sure that our, we're not going to be getting involved in too many fights over here. So let's scorch this province, give it to Imereti, and uh, maybe get down to Fez here. Obviously I don't want to fight. I don't want those guys getting onto any lands that, uh, sieging down any of my lands, rather. Oh, yeah. It's nice to have subjects, right? Oh, he's got a, oh, what is that? A 2653 general. Very good. Well done, good subject of mine. Finishing up our cores over here, which is good. These guys are actually going to be in a state. They already are. These guys are at least partially in a trade company. Some of it's getting converted already. Yeah, yeah, we're great. We're totally fine. We might have rebels while the conversions are going on, but it doesn't actually matter at all. Again, scorch it and give it off to a subject here, and then we will just get uh, get carpet sieging. It's very easy. At this point, it's rinse and repeat because we need to start getting over into Europe. Uh, so I very well may take Gibraltar uh, in this war. See, oh man, it's tough because they're not co-belligerented. If I were to just white piece them and or like break off their alliance, I can just break off their alliance with uh, with Castile. Then I can attack them, well, with England, rather. I can attack them, probably break off the war, uh, uh, the relation with Castile here. Let's see. Let, let's, let's take a quick look here. This is super reasonable. And maybe I just take, like, Ceuta and Gibraltar, and then white piece them for the rest. I think that's super reasonable. I think that that is the plan. That is what we will do. So let's get you guys over here. Gotta be mindful that uh, they could very easily uh, bot me. Gotta be mindful. Seuss. <gasps> what? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, dude? I didn't do that, did I? <laughs> did I have rebels that popped free and I didn't even see it? What is going on here? Who are you and why are you Protestant? Why are you Orthodox, bro? Oh, that's really funny. I, I, uh... I'm a big fan. Big fan. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know how that happened, but uh, don't ask questions. Just just consume product. 
So Portugal, I will take these two provinces. Yeah, yeah, this is super reasonable, actually. Gives us a short truce with them and will allow us... Oh, no, 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 no. Siege them down, siege them down. And we will also, first of all, fill off this... Uh, is that a seven stack of cannons? No, it's a split stack, but very funny looking stack right there. And then have you guys also do this here. Get onto their capital and they will probably piece us out. They will probably accept that piece. No, really. Okay. Do I want to attack them? Three heavy ships, 12 heavy ships. Yeah. See, the thing is, is I have my galleys. Let's, uh, we can at least try it. I don't know how well it's going to go for us. Okay, yeah, those numbers were not correct. Said I sunk 12 heavy ships. I don't think so, bro. I do not think so. Ooh, nice mill. That'll be good. Some rebels popping like you do. Let's go ahead and have them suppressed. There is a fort touching that, so it is all fine and dandy. Let's have our heavy ships all grouped up now. We've got 38 more of them. Have them group up with the rest of our navy here. Uh, one base tax means nothing to me. Barrage those walls here. I, uh... I have a feeling that uh, those guys are not not gonna wanna not gonna wanna fight with me. So let's have you guys do a quick carpus siege just to make sure that they are willing to accept this piece. I'm gonna uh, diplomatically isolate them. Might as well sink their navy. No, just kidding. I can't do it. So I will take those two provinces. That's it. And then I will have them annul their alliances with England. Okay. So our truce is only gonna be, uh, well, only it's gonna be shorter than if we were to uh, take a bunch of land from them directly. And then this one here. So we need to core up this land first. Why can I not core Gibraltar? Oh, right, because Spain has a core on it. Is that true? Do you? What? Come again? Missionary. Oh, right. Right, yeah. Let's uh, let's see here. Good, good, good. And uh, let's get on up to Toledo. I'm probably going to need to. And that's good, because then in the next war, we can take all this land from Portugal, as well as snake them. Just <laughs> take as much as we can from them. Ooh, nice. Um, we have the French, so let's make sure that we are getting all the lands that I want to. And the French are getting nothing. Does that mean they have no armies, then? Also, does that mean that they broke off their alliance with Portugal? They did. They haven't... <laughs> See, that's good. I don't even have to, um, <laughs> I don't even have to, uh, to worry about breaking off their alliance because like I otherwise would have. Very good. Very good. Grant them aid, huh? Sure. I don't want to lose the mana. The mana is too good to lose. Okie dokie. So, right. They have their, they have their, uh, overseas territories. I think it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So, oh yeah, we're totally willing. We'll be able to get this, especially as their war exhaustion goes up. They're buying it down and all that stuff, but should be fine. Especially as it ticks up. The uh, length of the war continues to go on as well. All fine and dandy. Let's have these guys do a bit of carpet sieging. Uh, or I mean, uh, looting rather. Very good. Just, just take some money. Take the money. Run. A little bit of tax dev. It's fine. We're already on three stab. No need to take it ahead of time. If we're not going to get any innovativeness. Uh, land force summit modifier or Poland likes me a bit more. I just need my. I want my relations to go lower with Poland. Just, just based on principle. You know. All this loot is uh, very bad for them. All this devastation, rather. I'm sure that they're very much willing. But now, since they were being uh, pricks about not accepting the peace before, now I'm going to make sure that they understand that th they've made a grave mistake by not accepting this peace deal. You will now be thoroughly devastated because you suck and I hate you. And that's all there is to it. Brandenburg has been elected. All right. Now, that is fine. Can I yoink dev from any of this? I cannot. Unfortunate. It's fine. Hopefully that 100% doesn't, uh, isn't going to be too harsh. Yoink that there. 
And let's make sure we are spamming these guys out. Let's get my auto clicker out here. Auto clicker by Shocker. That is the uh, that is the auto clicker that I use. That is my brand there. And that will allow me to very quickly click through those and build those up. So it should be just fine. Um, I have Rebels popping where? Where? I don't see any. But yeah, now our lands touch up over here. Emeridian nobles, huh? So let's have these guys uh, conform to that template. Well, first of all, we're going to need to have cores on that land. Uh -huh. So let's get these guys down, have them conform to the template, and then have them split and do a little bit of um, stuff over here for management. We're almost to absolutism, which is very cool. And now let's have you guys do that, and then we will get rid of that extra crab that we do not need. As they conform to the template, we'll send half of them up there into Iberia. We are about to max out on technologies. We are now three, or uh, all three of them, 13 years ahead of time of tech on every single technology. It's very good. Fours are uh, actually almost finished, which is really good. And then we will, one more month. I'm okay with spending a little bit of time to stabilize after that. Do a shuffle split here. Have you guys head up here and have you guys handled down here. This is very fine, very fair and reasonable. Now let's see here, France is still allied to these guys, so that is a problem. Now if I were to attack these guys, Brandenburg would join as well as Poland, but Russia would likely join if they were not fighting in another war and 3,000 ducats in debt because, uh, because reasons, you know? Reasons, I'm sure they're good reasons, right? I'm sure they are, they have to be. They have to be good reasons. All right, let's see here, we do not have one, so let's go ahead and get one. Uh huh. Go with DevCost since we are very, very far ahead of time on all technologies. So let's go ahead and do some development. We're going to get lots of crown land for this as well. Oh, it looks like uh, we lost our gold over there in uh, in Dardania. We had like 12 dev, so looks like that uh, collapsed. It's fine. <laughs> I don't mind a little bit of money loss. Uh, probably take a loan out. That's not really a big deal. Uh, we might be able to avoid it, actually. The base tax means nothing. It really means nothing to me. No, we're going to be able to avoid this loan for sure. A little bit of extra clicking, but, you know. Like I said, it doesn't matter, but we're making big bank. So let's see here. It, I would love to be able to go to war with them and France not help. War exhaustion. So if this were to dip, that would be like the best case scenario. Like the um, the moment it dips below, occupied and besieged provinces. See, we need them to have some lands occupied in this war. Oh my gosh, what? Is this the league, the Protestant war? Oh, the Bohemia. What in the world? Poland got a PU on Bohemia. What in the world is going on here? Okay. Oh shoot, I did not realize that I uh that I had done this. Uh. Okay. Well, I guess I will build up another battle stack. I mean. Got plenty of force limit to spare. That actually puts me right about at. France is like on the verge. They would honestly not, they would consider not joining. Ah, yes, let's go. So if I were to declare, nice, France would not help them. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That is so perfect. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, I'll use these guys to suppress then. These guys are building up. Show them, boys. Heavy ship combat ability. Let's have you guys, um, Come in here, and let's have you hunt enemy fleets. Let's actually have you intercept enemy fleets in the Mediterranean. And I will, uh, here, attach the busted up ships. So now this war, oh man, this war is going to be good. We can take this over here, this over here, this over here, and maybe even Ibiza. We can do some partying. We can go party on Ibiza. So this is probably fine. Something like that. Oh, it's so good. So much overextension too. I don't care. Don't care. Oh no. I've lost the stability. Whatever will I do? Now we're still working on these ca uh, these cannons. So get those boys into the army here. So uh, yeah, Milan. Milan is over here sieging down my lands. Belgrade does not have the... Um, our ramparts. Sadly, I did not build one. Right. Let's uh, let's make sure we're building those. Very important. 
Now, we do have an army. Let's have these guys. Ooh -wee. Okay, that's a big army for them. We'll have them grouped up over there. Diplo rep. Hmm. You are very cheap. Half off is great. Uh, we're focused on admin. Let's focus on dip. All right, and we've lost our commandant. Let's go with a... Yeah, we need to get a... Um, commandant or a morale guy that is in an appropriate culture for us. Even if they're not the best level there. There you go. This guy's Greek, so he's going to be very cheap for us to have as well as upgrade. Let's make sure these guys are also on defensiveness. They have really good siege ability. Yeah, they do. You know, offensive? They did. Nice. Okay. Um, so these guys here are ready to go. Let's have you guys do something like this. Get an extra general. Three siege is absolutely legendary. The Justinian. Are they trying to join with them? They are. They have won the Siege of Belgrade, unfortunately. It is what it is. Let's have you guys head on over. Let's have a force march over. This is Grassland, so it's uh, not, not... Oh, they didn't win this Siege of Belgrade. What am I... What's going on here? Lysos, huh? Where's Lysos? Oh, wow. It's a really good fort. Yeah, local defense on this is just really solid. What are... What the... <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, <laughs> did they just lose 60,000? <laughs> what happened there? What just, what happened, bro? What happened? Milan, what happened? <laughs> Can't believe it, bro. That's all, that's so funny. Oh, it's so funny. Okay. Let's have you guys do a bit of carpet sieging down here. Oh, I am in awe at what I just witnessed over there. I don't know how Milan's army got killed. But, uh, boy, did they. Okay. All right, and look at this. We carpet siege these boys down. I forgot about their lands down there. These guys are going to handle them, which is wonderful. Um, I should probably peace out these guys. But before I peace them out, I will siege them down and head down. Kill off his army over here. I'm going to have to siege down Messina if I want to take any of those provinces. Not an issue. Let's have you guys pull up over here. Pull up. You guys come over here. You guys come over here. You guys come over here and over there. 35%. I get free professionalism. Well, not free. I pay for it, but very reasonable in my opinion. Let's give that to Imareti. Scorch it just in case they want to fight there. I will happily fight them. Take a loan to assert my dominance or whatever. We've won the Siege of Milano. So now I will march right past it. That's him ready. I could kill off this Aragonese army here. Yeah, let's just fight these guys right here. If they want to fight me, they can. They will, uh, they will regret it. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll definitely regret it. Just single filing their men into a... Those guys have a low, uh, morale. It is a mountains province. Nice, we spawned global trade. I wasn't even looking. I forgot about global trade. So we're at 87, 61, 49, 44. So yeah, by far the greatest uh, trade power there. And then Constantinople will get yet another modifier. Look at all these provincial modifiers here. Look at that. So good. Safe to say. Oh, wow, France. <laughs> Safe to say that um, uh, going to war with Lithuania. You guys are punks for that. You guys are punks for that. Okay, this is fine. Now, Aragon. I will peace out Milan. You'll give me... Uh, Money, and then, you know, and all your alliance with those boys. Tuscany is not allied to them, so it's fine. Aragon is now very much good to go. They will not accept. Oh, right, I have to, uh, I have to siege down this province down here. Right, let's have you guys just, like, brought over and dropped on Messina. It's probably fine. And then we can, uh, do a bit of... Looting. That's all fine and dandy. So good. So good, so good. Wait, you guys are supposed to get down there. What are you doing, punks? Byzantine Mosaicists. Netherlands, huh? Yeah, just, I just want the money. I'm just doing the one that gives me the most money every time. 
They have no forts, dude. It's crazy. Oh, no. Just kidding. They do have a fort over here. I knew that. I did know that. I promise you. Now, we have uh, too, many, uh, too many ships out there. Let's go ahead and get rid of these light ships. Maybe get rid of a little bit of these transports. Hostile waters. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. These guys are taking attrition. Do we have a... Uh, do we have a thing over here? Where's the hostile waters? Oh, it's because they occupy my province. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, that's so funny. Okay. Very good. AE is uh, but a number. That is incredible, incredible. Now, yeah, we can't yoink a single bit of this development. So we're going to have rebels. It's just something we have to accept. And that's all right with me. So let's have you guys hang out over here to suppress. Let's have these guys over here. Honestly, this is this is perfect. And and the thing is is like the only place we'll ever have rebels is going to be like on the fringes of the empire where we're where we're uh we're growing because like we we don't need to we don't need to stress. They're they're only going to spawn over here because everywhere else just has really solid um uh what you call it? unrest reduction because of our tolerance of the true faith. Look at that. The only place we have unrest is in the land we just conquered and we are 30% overextended. It's pretty solid. Now, Truce of Portugal is going to be up in June. They are allied to Ethiopia, and that is it. It's pretty solid. Let's go ahead and bring these boys over. Yeah, minor inconvenience. Interesting fact for you. Just don't click it. If you don't click it, it can't fire again. That's the way that that works. Let's put you guys over here. And, uh... Let's see here. It's all been converted already. Isn't that crazy? We're waiting for June. We're going to attack Portugal. And we're going to take as much land as possible. Yep. That's so good. <laughs> so good, man. So good. We're going to have rebels. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. Dun, 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 dun. And then uh, Ethiopia is in this war. How many men you got? 30,000. 30... 000. 30 thousand whopping troops let's see where's your capital here do i know where their capital is here <laughs> okay i got a couple of forts blocking it we'll see what we can do here i don't really want to to take this land that i'm trying to core up please please give me my give me my lands please oh you want to siege down this mountain province go ahead silly goose Get you guys over here. Yeah, those rebels are firing. Mm-hmm. There's a fort there, which is nice. Let's go ahead and handle them. Let's barrage those walls. See if we can win this siege sooner rather than later. How many men they got? 58. My goodness. I don't know where they are. Probably in, like, Puerto Rico or something. They're on vacation. Mm -hmm. All right, these guys will handle that. And uh, these guys down here are winning sieges for us. Should be able to just separate piece them, no big deal, right? Lasta has been won. I guess I don't need to worry about uh, allowing them to siege us down. And uh, the war goal is to show superiority, but they don't have any armies anywhere that I can find. So that's not very helpful. Oh, here's some, here's one. You also get quite a bit of war score from stack wipes, if you don't know. Let's uh, fight them over here. They'll head over to Porto. I will be able to wipe them out, and there we go. Now, we, we do have the ticking war score, which is good. Diplotech, don't care. Innovativeness is great. We can pay off that loan. I don't need this loan. There we go. And now in this war, I will take all of this, of course. And ideally, we're going to take like as much of this as we possibly can. Uh huh. This is <laughs> some border gore right there. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what uh, what we will be allowed to take here. Ticking war score is going to have to take up. I will not separate piece out. Um, Ethiopia. I'm going to use them for war score. Now, 
since I've got some money and I've talked about doing this, I need to make sure that my fort line is secure. All right, I integrated these guys as well. Means I probably have like some little army running around. There you go. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Ramparts shall be built in all of our good defensive provinces. And let's build some more forts down here. Yeah, this is a good fort there. Lots of level four forts. Probably should have one like right here as well. Oh, definitely Elkrog. What am I doing? Do I have a ramparts there? I do. I usually don't build ramparts. It's more for like, you know, Fortress Byzantium. Like, I'm going to attack you. You're going to try to siege me down and you will regret it. <laughs> you know, it's just fun to think about. Okay, let's make sure that they are not taking their capital back. That would be uh, unfortunate for us. Oh, shoot. All right, that's a, it's not, in, not an important province there. Make sure we give that to Imrati. This is a fort here. Oh, I, they did take a, take a fort back. Give that to Imrati. I should have done that before. We have another reform here. Economical matters here. Production efficiency, autonomy change, global prosperity, but they gain, they lose loyalty and influence. Trade company governing costs would be very useful for us. Trade efficiency is always good. War taxes, regiment cost, yearly inflation reduction solid. I'm pretty keen on um, on this one. That'll help us out with our uh, governing capacity issues that we are definitely having. Let's see here. Go on over. Get up, Dan. The VB long neck. So, oh, nice. So we can get admin efficiency. So I'll take that. I mean, there's no, no reason to not take it. Obviously, there's, you know, we don't want to take it too soon. Go ahead and take that, scorch that, and give it to Imareti. And hopefully, a goo. Another one. Always take your ten to ones. Let's uh, let's see if we can catch these guys. Yes, this is hills or highlands. No, I do not particularly care. Just run around and kill off some little one stacks. Why not? You know. We're uh, winning sieges over here. They're getting sieged down. So let's just go ahead and start carpet sieging these guys then. Because we'll get more war score from this. I'll wait until the yearly tick. That will allow us to um, get that extra discount for uh, admin tech. And once we get that, 10% efficiency is going to be really useful for us. Yeah, they are seeding down a couple of provinces up here, but I'm not really too fussed about it. There we go. Again, wait until the new year. Admin efficiency is just super, super powerful. It allows you to take... Th th that will allow us to take 10% more in the peace deal. It's crazy. It's very, very influential. And core for 10% cheaper. And 10% faster, right? All right, so let's go ahead and click this button here. 74 points above base cost, four years ahead of time, and we haven't embraced the institution. That will allow us to take all of this, plus some more. 94%. Um, hmm. I think this is fine. Yeah, this is good. This is good. And uh, then we can then core that all up for incredibly cheap. Look at that. 149. Wowzers. Russia's calling me into a war that they have started. I do not think I will uh, participate. I will continue my uh, my trend of literally not doing anything to help them out. And that frees up. Uh, sure, we'll establish Sunday schools. We like to, uh, we like to study on Sundays or whatever. And uh, we will continue these buildings building up down here. And yeah. All these forts are good. We don't really need you anymore. Get rid of that one. This one here is very redundant as well. Upgrade this one here. We do not need this one in Fez either. It is redundant. We can also start working on upgrading Alhambra. So let's do that. We want to get it up to this, uh, this tick as fast as possible. 
because we will be able to get that 5% admin efficiency, which is very, very good. Now, let's take a look at what our max absolutism is because uh, we're going to need to we're going to need to check that. You can check that by going here and scroll down. Oh, look at this. Hey, country allow marine infantry. Yes. Nice little broken texture there. Um, That may actually be from my mod, uh, my graphics mod. We're looking for maximum uh, admin absolutism 45. Oh, we still have strong duchies. Oh, that's really funny. Let's get rid of strong duchies. Let's get rid of. Religious state, get rid of you, get rid of you, and you. These guys are realistically fine. So where are we at now then? Max absolutism? Maximum absolutism. Where are we at here? 80. Uh, maybe I do need to get rid of these guys, sadly. It's all good. And then right of council will give us another 10. We'll be solid there. And we can also come through and change out a couple of these guys. Like I want to say it was this one here. Give us an extra five as well as yearly absolutism. So you're not just locked into it. You can uh, you can play it smart here. Ooh, Circassia is free. Circassia is free. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to make them into a Pronoia. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Russia, my beloved. I'm still not going to help you with anything. I refuse. So I'm going to improve my relations with these guys. Let's see here. Royal marry them and we can instantly make them a vassal as long as they're not in a war, which they are. Um, Circassian conquest of Kuban. Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. They're going to be too strong to be a except vassalization. I'm going to have to declare war on them. Yeah, they're going to take take this land. Yeah, they're going to take all three of those as well. I guarantee it. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Warn our statesmen. Let's get another one. That will actually give us a couple of extra reasons here. 19. Hmm. Who else is in this war? Oh, Lithuania is up there. Oh. We're maxed out on dip. Eighty-three ducats. We're still just like doing so good. I'm not getting innovativeness. I'm not going to take it. There's no reason to. Free project upgrade cost going up or down on a Tuesday. Our our uh, leaders are dying. Feels very bad, but it's okay. Still gaining money. I wonder. I would love to see Lithuania march an army down here and like kill them off. Who else is in this war? It's literally a mono -y mono If they just had mill access, they could do it. But they don't. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm sorry, Russia. I'm not going to help you. I'm actually going to break off alliance with Russia. I'm, I'm done with them. They are not helpful. They, they are not. Oh, they got Peter. That's not Peter the Great, is it? I don't believe so. Okay. Portuguese separatists handled. Yeah, name is uh, name is looking better and better as we go. Now, let's take a look here. We're supposed to get this non-plus ultra, right? Oh, right. That's uh, Iberia. Okay. We can do that. Uh, Heart of Islam. Own Mecca Medina. We can probably do that. Hausa, huh? Let's have our uh, armies over here grouped up. Obviously, we're going to kind of depend on what Hejaz has. We also have a, uh, a mission tree for Yemen in this King of Kings DLC, so... I need to check them out eventually as well. We have, uh, we'll be able to embrace this institution very quickly. I will upgrade this at least once while I'm able. There you go. Let's go ahead and upgrade you. I hope I didn't lose that modifier, did I? Ah, uh, I see how it works. Okay, so like now it will go back up to 50. It's a, it's a hidden mod, hidden effect that's affecting that. Okay, that makes sense. So now this is upgrading. We'll get it up to level five before too long. House over here being an absolute menace. And uh, these guys are going to be at war for a while, probably. Assuming that they're at war with house as well. 
They are. Yeah. Might be a minute. If I can kill off the house, I can probably get them to uh, peace out, though. I should probably have some some uh, some forts over here. It's a bit of a bit of a misplay on my end, I think. It's fine. So let's build one in like Benghazi, and then one in like Fazan once we can occupy it back. Yeah, what are you guys doing? They're gonna get stuck over here because they can't go past Cairo. So yeah, these guys are idiots. Let's see here. Can I get a better general there? Boom goes the dynamite. That is a uh, stack wipe. These guys are still in this war. Actually insane. Oh, no stack wipe. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully we'll be able to get this one going shortly. A Jaws, you want a peace out, please? Our statesman is dead. Get another one. They need to finish this war up, man. Free stab. Yeah, we're going to wrap up this episode here very shortly. Okay. Let's get these guys out of here. You guys going on to that uh, island is pretty funny. Here you go. I'm just going to force march and kill them. <laughs> kind of getting on my nerves at this point. Now I will get you guys split off over here. No need to march you. Now the reason why I'm doing this is so I can get that fort started on down in here in Fazan. Anybody wants to siege it, they can rot some attrition in the desert for all I care. We're about to max out on this again. We're not ahead of time. I can embrace the institution. It's going to be very expensive, but uh, I think it's fine. We're not uh, we're not hurting for money at this point. Staying ahead of time on those techs is always going to be a good call for us. And now we will make our way down to Hausa. Cultural unrest, huh? I don't care. We will siege down Hausa, their capital in Kano or Kano or whatever. Missionary strength sounds good. Hopefully these guys peace out soon. I would really like for them to peace out so I can, you know, subjugate them. But how are you guys doing today? Or were you enjoying the run? Hopefully you're really enjoying it. I know I certainly am. I just lose my air. No, I lost my wife. My waifu. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Am I steering everywhere that I thought I was? I gained an extra mission merchant. Oh, I embraced global trade. Right. Let's steer from here. We'll go from 147 up to 151. Pineapple juice and Malibu. Caribou. It's a good song. Old school. That's like rap from when I was like a teenager. Byzantine Mazacists. England. Thank you. England to give up money, please. We've won the Siege of Kano. Now, hopefully, that means they will peace out this war shortly. That's uh, that's my goal. <laughs> I'm trying to siege these guys down so that way they will get pieced out of another war so I can peace out of this war. But uh, we'll probably just wrap this one up in the next one because this one's already gone long enough. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell so you get notified when these videos go up live every weekday. Special thanks to Kaiser Dar of Akadia, Geo, Gamus23, Ian Powell, Cannon Fodder, Josh Kipchinski, Agent Rhino, Blonde Damon, Isaiah, Grover, Bubba J, Saronska, Ricardo, Cobalt, Rex Rex, Nathan Albright, and many more.